Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 11, 2022. Jump date for Thursday at 12. All right, let's go. Well, I'll put an honorable mention in here if you guys are looking for action. And I hate to put it that way, but it looks okay. It caught my eye first. And when I was scanning, I was like, okay, that's going to be my setup for today. And then after I picked it apart a little bit, higher price like this, hard to get enough shares off. And then also, you've got a, it's got a lot of support below um, at various levels. And we'll take a look at that. In just one second. In fact, we'll take a look at the portfolio too. Obviously, in one second. Let's see. Here's the Landry list for tomorrow. You can see that they're all shorts in here. This is pretty normal when you have a market rally. I just want to kind of show you a representative sample of what's happening. I wouldn't rush out and short like this PBF, but I wanted to show you that energies are looking a little toppy, at least on an individual basis. The home builders are beginning to set up. Again, so if you didn't take anything in the home builders, this one's slightly thin, but if you're looking to get something happening there, this is starting to look kind of interesting as it continues to sort of pull back in here. Elf actually remains a short or setting up again, I should say, as a potential short. So if you missed that one, maybe look to get in below this low here and stop out somewhere up in here on that. But for now, let's just sit on our hands a little bit and let things shake out. It seems like a very fluid type of situation. Let's take a look at the portfolio real quick. And then we'll pop out, obviously, to the overall market and do a little drilling down. Elf, a little bit of a rally there. Obviously, honor your stops just in case. And this is why, as I was saying, when you get this big, fast move like that really quick, feel free to take partial profits. And I preached about this quite a bit in the Facebook group. So hopefully uh, you guys did that. And I don't want to pour salt in anybody's woods if you did. And I just want to teach you maybe for next time kbh a little bit of a rally there but the home builders are kind of losing steam in here and they're looking kind of ugly so i wouldn't get too excited about that shorts as you know can be a pain in the butt they go against you quite a bit but they can pay off here and there we're right at new closing highs and the k and f we'll start bumping that stop if we can break out with vigor but a new closing high is certainly a good thing and that's pretty impressive there obviously a little bit of a bounce in lfmd not quite new brand new Closing, not quite brand new closing highs, he tried to say. I didn't have coffee, I swear. <laughs> let's take a look at the overall market and let's do some drilling down too. First of all, I'll look at some other areas, I should say. SP 500, a little bit of a rally there, back above the 30. I wouldn't get too excited just yet, but if we keep pushing into this overhead supply, that would obviously be a good thing. So far, though, kind of inverted cup and handle, still looks kind of ugly in here. So, nothing, not a whole lot to get excited about. Just yet. These uranium stocks, like I said, I was kind of excited about them and they kind of been rallying up a little bit, although this ETF looks a little better. It looks a little bit better than some of the other issues, but you can see they kind of stalling out a little bit after retracing up. So that's a little bit of a concern, as I've been saying. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ had a decent day and it's pushing into this overhead supply and we're really not that far away from 50 week high. So that would certainly be a good thing for now, though. It looks like a top remains in place there at least for now Russell 2000 continues to just kind of lag in here downtrend obviously remains intact there let's take a look at the energies not a whole lot to report there it dipped a little bit the can back like I showed you a second ago with the PBF it's kind of getting a little bit of that gatekeeper look to it but if we go on to break out to new highs then obviously that would change that fairly quickly let's take a look at some other areas in here foods turning back down remaining pretty serious downtrend banks kind of chopping around in here so far remaining in kind of a wide and loose downtrend financials still still looks like a pullback at best and they're remaining downtrend too so most areas remain in downtrend some areas though have come back quite a bit like the drugs and one has to wonder are they going to stall a short of the old highs and then roll over or will they break through for now i'd leave them alone on both ways if we make new highs and obviously we will start looking for setups on pullbacks. Biotech, a little bit of a rally there. So far, just pushing it to that 30. Still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. Take a look at health services. What's one area that's kind of breaking down today. And, and as long as you have new areas that continue to break down, that, that is of concern, obviously, but pretty serious downtrend and then pretty serious sell-off today. Defense continuing to rally in here. I guess that's what everything going on in the world, not to confuse the issue with facts. Lots and lots and lots of overhead supply here so it wouldn't be a shocker if we rolled right back over but it'll, it'll be interesting to see if we could push through this overhead supply so for the most part things are still looking fairly ugly out there this mnc uh, decent day there but so far rollover remains intact take a look at retail same sort of action there too S selling off fairly hard a little bit of a retrace in here so 
overall, things are still questionable. Obviously, some areas are improving, like the semis are pushing into this overhead supply. And in general, as I've been saying too, NASDAQ looking a little better and then the Qs are looking a little bit better than the Ps and then obviously the Rusty. So kind of mixed out there. I wouldn't get too excited just yet about anything. So let's just sit tight and let's see how the setups shake out. Any questions, as usual, Dave at DaveLander.com. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.